798,708 rands, 190,190 uh, driving licenses have been referred to relevant MECs for cancellation. 190,173 driving licenses issued to persons who have since perished have been referred for cancellation on inatis. 44 cases have been referred to the National Prosecuting Authority for prosecution. 128 cases have been referred to various authorities for disciplinary, executive and or administrative action. 86 arrests were made for fraud and or a theft during joint operations by RTMC, Hawks, SARS, and SIU. These are made up of 36 vehicle testing examiners, 10 NATIS officers, 26 DLTC officials, 3 SAPS members, 4 provincial department of transport inspectors, 7 private uh, persons. On July 2022, Six officials were arrested for 10,000 illicit transactions, which costed the state a combined loss of 60 million uh, rent. President Ramaphosa has been emphatic that there is no space for corrupt people in our government. Working with law enforcement authorities, we are making headway in uprooting malfeasance and corruption. Over the last year, we have been working with the MECs and SALGA to implement a number of interventions that are intended to address the root causes of these systemat systemic and operational uh, challenges. At the core of these interventions is a seamlessly integrated value chain guided by a single standard under the leadership of the RTMC. This will constitute a new service delivery model for all DLTCs in the country. Various measures have been implemented, which includes the introduction of online services and online payments, the rollout of smart enrollment units across all DLTCs, the centralization of the management of booking slots. On the 27th of uh, September, 2022, the National Assembly passed the National Road Traffic Amendment Bill, which addresses a number of areas covered by the SIU investigation, which includes a regulation of driving schools. You know that driving schools in Tatekhanyaho, they are a law unto themselves. Um, we are now regulating them, and the bill was set back to Parliament by the President but uh, we have come up with speed and uh, passed the bill in the National Assemblies en route uh, to the NCOP and back to the desk of the President to address all the issues that I was referring to that were identified by SIU. The bill provides us with more instruments to aggressively tackle the intractable challenge of corruption that continues to bedevil the vehicle and driver licensing uh, system. The regulation of driving schools through this legislation will enable closure scrutiny on the conduct of the of these schools and ensuring that the uniform standards are applicable to all driving schools. This will also enable the inspector of driving schools established by the bill to hold these schools accountable to the set standards. In conclusion, improving uh, driver competence means strengthening quality assurance across the value chain. From the time a learner enrolls for a learner uh, license test to the driving school until the driving license card is issued. It is for that reason stricter rules have been introduced to address cheating by learners or wayward behavior by instructors. The prevalence of criminal conduct ranging from cloning of vehicles to fraudulent issue of driving licenses 
is a matter of concern that is receiving our most urgent attention. You see people here driving with colored vehicles, strange colors, uh, in the road, and then it is a fashion. Some of these vehicles are charcoal and all of that, not with the original color. That is the cloning of the vehicle. You see people driving vehicles with a driver's license or the number plate. But when you check the owner of the vehicle in the inertes, that person does not exist. That is a cloning and the stealing of vehicles that is happening here in the Republic. So we are going to bring an end to that. Uh, I must express my appreciation to Advocate Mutibi and his team for their sterling work that enable us to exponentially improve service delivery while uprooting corruption and malfeasance from the system. Uh, the work that is done by the authorities uh, is often not uh, recognized. Uh, the hawks arrest people every day, every week, politicians and people with small trousers, uh, they are getting arrested. The rule of law is being intensified in our country. And the SIU is doing God's work. Everyone, anywhere, whoever is doing wrongdoing, they know that they will be held accountable. And uh, these men and women, in their daily duty and the, the oath they've taken, they've proven the worth that uh, this is indeed the era and the, and the, and the era of accountability. Mbalula can't do as he wishes and think that is not washed over by the system. Or Dikeledi, or Dineo, or Makosin. The system is there. Uh, we've got good work that we're doing through RTMC. I must thank Makosini. If you go to Centurion and you go to, um, uh, what is this place? Waterfall. You get your driver's license. And those are the standards we're replicating in the country. Getting a driver's license must not be a headache for our people. That is service delivery. Um, we must change public service delivery, including the issuing of driver's license, getting a driver's license. We must move to an era which President Mbeki started in his administration, but he did not complete that. Your child, when he finishes school, must be knowing how to drive. It shouldn't be a headache that uh, to get a driver's license and to know how to drive you must get to certain standards. You must know it from school. And when you finish school at high school level, grade 12, you know how to drive a vehicle. Those are the standards we are aspiring and we are working towards. And uh, with this uh, revelation and the work of the SIU mandated by the president and the action, prompt action taken by RTMC, uh, in arresting some of the criminals, as we have reported, is good work. And some of them, we know they are still in the system, but we are coming for them, and we will find them. And they must know, as we reveal today, that each and every one of them will account for their deeds in terms of undermining